Female rapper Tan God shot dead at beauty store opening by a gunman who was fueled by revenge. Family and friends gathered outside Glamour Beauty Supply in Oakland Sunday, many in tears as they paid tribute to local female rapper and entrepreneur Tan God. They confirmed to Cron 4 she was shot and killed at a grand opening event for the beauty store Saturday. Tan posted on Instagram just before the shooting. Here, I got granny in a cut, don't play with it. She also promoted the event a week before, saying she would be at Glamour Beauty for a meet and greet. Oakland police say when they arrived, paramedics found one gunshot victim who died at the hospital. Another gunshot victim arrived at a nearby hospital sometime later. Police say that person is expected to be okay. They're still working to identify the shooter. No arrests have been made. Due to her bragging about killing her alleged abusive ex-boyfriend and making it a marketing campaign in her music career after she got out of prison. She put out a song called That's My Ex Pack, where you hear her repeatedly saying she's smoking on her ex and vividly speaks about how he's dead and she put him on his head and shot him with a nine millimeter. Long as a bitch got legs, I stand on everything I say. I be smoking on my ex, bitch, every relationship is dead. I don't never feel the shade, but I see bitches got a shit. I ain't worried about my ex, I put that pussy on his head, bitch. <laughs> I put that nanny on his top. She also put her ex on the cover of her mixtape and made his head turned into a front of a blunt being smoked. The man she killed was in a gang. She obviously has affiliation with gang members and street life and she spoke about it in her music. A lot of ladies have been acting and talking more and more like men and not men who are respectful, hardworking, or family men focused on legacy. But these women are more intrigued to act and talk like male gang members, killers, or robbers. And the industry loves to promote it because the people at the top who gets the most money and control of the narrative of black people knows the ultimate outcome. Guess what? This is not one of those double standards women benefit from. The same outcome that comes to all these male street rappers getting gunned down will absolutely happen to a woman as well when they move like this. Tan the God also bragged about the murder on a podcast while smoking a blunt and saying that was her ex while her and her friends in the background laughed. You should have never played with me because then I got to take it to the third degree. You know, it's like it's crazy. So September 23rd is like the day I dropped pond them top. You know what I'm saying? So, so I got this to be extra fucking childish, making families mad. And oh, well, because they ain't going to do shit about it. Hmm. Smoking on that axe wood pack. Huh? Oh, yeah, you know it. Matter of fact, I got the smoke on this dead motherfucker as we speak. Hold up. <laughs> she even said that she was once told not to speak about it, but then said, fuck it, what they gonna do? She obviously have horrible friends. None of them telling her this is not a good idea. Just twerking in her video, laughing, being yes women, trying to get whatever they can out of it and can care less truly about her. I don't mean any harm, but when you dig a hole, you have to lay in it. She repeatedly disrespected this man knowing he was in a gang by putting him on her mixtape cover, calling him a pussy, and claiming no one was going to do anything about it. The last thing you want to do to a gang is try to make them look weak in their hood. You're forcing them to have to prove otherwise. Very, very sad situation. I hope everyone learns from this. She had potential, just chose the wrong path. Rest in peace.